and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So here I am, enjoying some nice hot sake while in the hot springs. <laughs> okay, so anyways, this is MH Geek, and we're here today to try and complete the last few quests for the two-star village quests. So I actually don't feel the need to spend money getting a drink for a village quest, so let's just get a move on. Alrighty, so right now, we're gonna be taking on the, if I'm not wrong, the Azuros, but oh! Hi. Oh my, are you alright Hunter? You don't look well. You, end up ru you ended up running into another monster, yes, that Jinoga. It's a very dangerous monster indeed. And it wouldn't go near villagers in the past, but um, first an Azuros causes trouble, mm -hmm. of course. Oh, so... We are here not just because of the Azuros, but because of the Jinoga. Naturally, I do not mean right now, take your time, but I have already taken down the Jinoga, so... <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it again right now, but... It's not impossible, just saying. So, I need to be taking down... Oh wait, no, yes, I'm supposed to be taking down the Great Jagi. Uh-huh. Yes, the Great Jagi, this one. So the Great Jagi isn't a very difficult monster to... Tackle. He's um quite predictable, you could say. And ooh, this is the first time that Rakuhara is going to the desert in single player mode at least. <laughs> so yeah. Going back to the topic on the Great Jagi, um he's actually one of the first few monsters that you actually face in the tutorial areas. Um actually I think he is the first monster. Uh yeah, should be. He isn't that hard to deal with. Um, just gonna grab all these freebies because why not? And you'll never get them again ever. As in, you you may still get them in higher ranks, but not as often. Just gonna pop in the rations. Mm -hmm. So I'll like to pinball him um, later on when I find him, just to keep track of his location. And I'll need to use the cold drink as well if. He does, um, if the fight does go in, go to the locations 8, 9, or 10. Yeah, because those areas, um, in the day, they're really, really hot. So, yeah. Well, at the in night, um, or rather at night, they become really cold. I mean, it's because this is a, this is a desert map. So, mm-hmm. For those of you that know your geography, or some basic um, signs, uh, the deserts have really huge varying temperatures. Um, as in, differing from day and night, yeah. It can range over more than 40 degrees or even 60 degrees from some, at some times. Uh, degrees as in degrees Celsius, not in Fahrenheit. I'm not sure how does the... Yeah, I've I've been educated in the the way of using degrees Celsius to measure my temperature. So uh huh, Temper uh, degrees Celsius it is. And I still have yet to find the Jagi, the Great Jagi. Where in the world are you? You don't usually go to areas eight, do you? Oh uh, bother. I really don't want to waste these cold drinks, but let's just pop in there first and see if he is really there or not. He isn't. Where could he be? This is awkward. He was not in uh wait, let's check the Did I get the right quest? Yes, I did get the right quest. This is Hunt the Great Jagi. He's not in four. He was not in one where we came from. Could he be in five? Hmm. Well well, let's just take a quick look. Are you here? Oh, he is here. Because there's a cutscene. This looks like a den of some sorts. Very interesting. And oh, 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 here he is. The Alpha of the Pact. You can see very clearly on his, uh, on his, yeah, that mask-like, well, not really mask, but 
the features of the Jagi where they have this spikes studded tails and uh, their faces are sort of covered with these frills. Hmm, very dinosaur-like, you could say. Hey, hey, where are you going? There he is. Oh, I, I shot the other Jagi instead. <laughs> so, ouch. The frill of his, um, the frill can be broken. So, I'll do my, oh, oh gosh. I did not aim that well at all. Okay. And ow! No, 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 no! Oh, too ouch! God damn it! That that little juggy sure messed things up for me. I oh gosh. But yeah, um, going back to the topic on his studded tail, uh, it's quite, it's not something you would really observe or notice because it's really so small. But if I wonder if someday, like, you know, Capcom will make it such that his tail can actually deal some sort of bleed damage in higher ranks or something. Because, well, what are those stats for anyways, if they're not to inflict more damage when he does his tail swipe? Yes, got him on the head! Oh, the body slam! Nice! Try Ouch! Stop that, little one! Shooting him in the foot, hoping to trip him. Oh my gosh, that was close. Actually, not really. Okay. So hopefully this quest don't take too long, so I can complete more than one. Oh gosh, compared to the last episode where uh, I had to, ouch, nope, nope. I had to, you know, take down the Jinoga because I was not going to give up on the chance to fight a Jinoga so early in game and challenge myself way more than I needed to. Oh, ouch, nope, nope, oh my gosh, the tail. He's really doing me in quite badly. But actually I would say mostly it's his underlings that are causing me a lot of trouble. And not really he himself. <laughs> Excuses. Oh, oh wow, what what a miss. That was embarrassing. Did, I think I broke his frills. Oh wow, I actually moved my cursor out of the way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's limping. Oh crap, I haven't paintballed him yet. Oh no, where's he going? No, don't- Ah, shucks. This, my friends, is a very bad example of how you should be hunting. <laughs> so, um, my best guess is that he'll go somewhere where you can get meat, food, something like that, so definitely not here. Uh, he could be at four. Where, where am I going? Yeah, it should be this way. I'll just make a quick drop by to 2 before I hit to 3 and then 4 just to cover every single area in case he is there. Um, he's tired, he's probably going to get a rest, a nap. No, he sleeps at area 5 because that's his den. So he would probably be at area 4. Yeah. Because that's the next best place you can escape to without heading back into the den immediately. Wait, did I just make sense then? No, I did not. But in any case, he should be at arrow 4. You see? There he is. Looking out for me. Am I what you are seeking? Why would you jump back? Whatever, I'm just, I'm just gonna rain arrows here so... So, I hit no one. No, no! Oh gosh, that Jagia, why? Why? Why would you do that? Don't, don't you all know what personal our space is? Oh my gosh, that... Stop, stop, stop. So, so many Jagis. Nice. No, you're not getting away. Okay, he got away. Oh, shoot. The other Jagi is just being so annoying. I remember that. Yeah, I saw this meme somewhere on like 9, 9, not 9 gig, but like Reddit or something. I can't remember. Basically, it's this, it's showing this Juggy, um, Juggy head going like saying things like, um, that hunter just took down like one of the most powerful elder dragons in game. I can take him! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling about these Juggies right now. What do you even know? What can you even do? Ow! Alright, alright! You can hit me to the ground! Okay, I get it, I get it. Now just let me finish off your alpha, right? 
Oh, damn it. Uh, I'm being a little bit too cocky right here. Oh, okay. Okay. The cats are being completely MVPs here. I feel ashamed of myself now. <laughs> oh well, so just gonna quickly carve him up. Mm -hmm. Jaggy hide. Okie dokie, Jaggy Claw. Great Jaggy Claw, that is. So, any other interesting pickups here? Oh, Dung. Yes. I need this for my farm. I need to def I definitely need to have dung to fertilize the land and fertilizing the land allows me to then grow more crops such as herbs or like um, mite seeds or adam adamant seeds or sleep herb etc. Very very important. Every hunter must have farm. Well this is only important in portable dirt because uh, in 3U and 4U, you don't have the farm system, so... Wait, do you have the farm system in 3U? I'm not sure. As far as I know, in 4U, the only use for dung is dung bombs. More often than not, and uh, you don't you don't have to fertilize the land like in Portable Dirt, so... Yeah, oh, one more. And... Yep, alrighty, so... I'm just gonna go and start up the next quest, and... See you in a bit. Alright, and we are back. So, basically, um, there's another favor from the village chief, and there's a Kuropeko causing trouble. So, this would be the urgent quest for you to advance into for you to advance to the three star village quest. Yes, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little incoherent today because I've been spending quite a bit of time um, preparing Christmas stuff, like Christmas shopping, um, baking goodies and stuff, and. Uh, Present wrapping, etc., etc., just running all over the place. It's been quite a day. So, yes, the Kuropeko. If you have watched the previous videos um, where I took on a Kuropeko together with Mido chan, we brought dung bombs in order to, you know, scare away the the friend that Kuropeko can call into battle, into battle to support it. So, yeah. Uh, same thing, uh, I brought some dung bombs and the supply box did give me some dung bombs as well. Right now, the main issue is the main thing is to find uh, where is the Kuropeko. I believe he doesn't start in area 5, I believe he starts in area 6 or 7, but let's so let's just go to 7. Um, I may be wrong, I mean, it's been a long time since I played this game. Uh huh. Where are you? Oh, not here. Oh, but then again, this is the first time that I'm visiting, or not visiting, but fighting Kuropeko um, in the village quest, so I believe there should be a cutscene if I am at the right place. I believe, but I may be wrong. As I'm oftenly always wrong. Alright. That just made no sense, oftenly always wrong, because that's just nonsense. Or does he not have a cutscene? That's interesting. Where could he be? I don't think he's at Area 8. Could he actually be at Area 8? Let's find out. No, he's not at Area 8. Area 9? Area 2? Oh. I'll just get this a bit of dung while we are here. You know, just in case I use the dung bomb and so... I get it replenished. Instantly. Oh, wow, I was... He's, he's at, he starts here, okay. So, yep, there's a great Jaggy. Just doing his thing. And, whoa, what's this? A feathered colorful bird. Whoa. What a, what a call. It, it just flew away? What? What? Did, did he just... Oh, oh, there, 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 the shadow, the shadow, I saw the shadow. So essentially, I believe in the village quest, they are making it easier for you, so uh, by showing the great Jaggi, it means that if I am not wrong, the Kuropeko is only able to call the great Jaggi in this fight. 
Where is he? He flew by here, didn't he? Oh, there! Right, though. So I'm just gonna quickly paintball him in case we lose him in the future. And draw my weapon! Alrighty, so I can break his beak and um, his flint. If you can hear very clearly, he's doing the Juggy calls. So it's, his, it's very obvious that he'll be calling the Juggy. The Great Juggy here. And I expect to see the Great Juggy coming in quite soon. But he's not here yet. I'm not so worried if it's just the Great Juggy alone, but... Knowing that the Great Juggy always brings his uh his whole team of smaller minions around the Juggy and Jagia, I would want to get him away as soon as I can. Surprisingly, he missed, and I thought I had a bad aim. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, he's gonna do the Sparky thing. Bam, bam. It looks pretty scary, actually. And I. I mean, well, I can't imagine having an explosion in your face anyways. That would, pretty, that would suck pretty bad. There he goes again. Alright. Whoa, three times, so he's angry now. Oh, here comes the Great Juggy. Time to get my dung bomb ready. And just toss it right in his... Oh, oh, wow. There we go, in his face, okay. Not exactly the face, but yeah, you get the point. Oh my gosh, is he actually flying away? Kurobeko, where are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Alright, you're not flying. Oh my god, the Juggy. What are you still doing here? Get the hell away. Oh, that was close. Uh, I really don't want to shoot point blank with this rapid bow, but given that he's so close, I don't really have a choice. Oh my gosh, please stop, stop your singing and nonsense. Nice, I stopped it. That was lucky. Oh, the great Juggy left. Woohoo! Something broke, I think, I'm not sure. Oh yes, definitely. His flint broke. The flint at the edges of his wings. Oh nope, 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 not letting you pack me. Alright. Can't see with all this grass in my face. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so bad. One of the worst things that can ever happen um, when fighting Kurobeko and Mosada Portable Dirt is when Kurobeko actually summons like Devil Joe. <laughs> for those of you who know what Devil Joe is, uh, good for you. For those of you who don't, someday you may actually get to see it. So, oh, there he goes. He's flying off. Just gonna. I don't really have to observe his shadow since I have him paintball. Okay, so he's heading over to area 6. Just gonna hit there as well. Hopefully, Juggy isn't there. If not, I would have to spend another dung bomb. Seems like it's all clear. Juggy isn't here. So it's just you and me, Kurobeko. Just you and me. Shooting you. Alright, so. The last time I fought Kurobeko, I used a. Wow. What? What's. Not sure if that's a, a call for another monster or. Yeah, it sounded like it's a call for another monster, but. If I'm not wrong, Kurobeko is not able to call another monster if it already has summoned a monster. Like, in this, in this case, like, Jaggi is really considered his friend in this, in this particular fight, so he can only ever call Jaggi again and not another monster. Because that would be pretty sick. Like, imagine if you call, like, freaking Jaggi, Azuros, and, like, Devil Joe, and everything. <laughs> oh my god, we'll be swimming in monsters. Oh gosh, Jaggi, please, go away. No one wants you. Not right now, at least. So I got a dung bomb in. Da oh my gosh, my thong. My, my thong? My thong. I got a dung bomb on the Jaggi and yep, so it's back to the one-on-one -on -one fight. 
Okay, he's enraged. And he's uh, prancing around like a chicken. Oh. Flinched him right there. Hopefully I can break his beak. Oh, he's weak. He's limping. Uh, no! No! Wow, that that's that's quite a fast takeoff if you if you ask me. <laughs> For such a big creature, he sure flies pretty fast, I guess. But okay, so anyways, he's going back to area seven, where he will try and fish. Um or take a nap. As far as I can remember, he fishes uh, to regain stamina. And he does it in this map, so yeah. But I'm not sure where does he rest, I can't remember. It might be at the area in that location back in area 9 where we first saw him in the cutscene roaring at the juggies. Okay. Just trying to break his big. Wow, he still can speed despite being exhausted, interesting. He's just gonna keep falling flat. Just gonna rain some arrows on him. Oh! I think I broke his beak! Arrow rain for the win! Ah, he's calling for Juggy again, right? Is he? Or what's he doing? What are you doing? Oh, damn, I thought he was gonna stay in the air longer. That, what a fake. Alright, come on, quickly! Let's finish him off before he escapes! Oh no, is the Juggy actually here again? Oh crap, I think he is. Never mind, we finished it. With an arrow up the tail feathers. Yep, the great Juggy is actually back here again. <laughs> what a nuisance. I can't even be bothered to fight the great Juggy now. Not especially after we just, you know. Ah, oh crap, come on. Come on, let, let me carve the Kuropeko. So yeah, I did break his beak, as you can see right here. Uh, no, not right here, but. Right here, his beak is broken. His beak has a pretty unique shape. It's quite hollow towards the top, making it look like sort of a trumpet, so he can actually amplify the noises that he make into a very, very loud, echoey sound to call all the monsters from all around. It actually rhymes. Holy shikes. So yeah, just gonna get us some resources before we head back to Yukumo Village. And that would be it for this episode. So this episode should be going out on the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. So waiting for the t episode on the 25th before I say the magical words. Uh, not, not really magical, but you know, the festive words. Yeah, the festive words. So yeah. Oh, shite. Okay, so Kuropeko Monster Lot updated, Trickster, and yes, I would like to save. So, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like what you see, do leave a comment, a like, or if you really, really like, then obviously just subscribe. More videos will come, I hope. And I really hope that I can continue doing this for quite some time, at least. So, once again, thank you all for watching. MH Geek, signing out.